Well, this little back book came around because we both kind of live and work in the, in the southwest. And it's without doubt the place to eat seafood. I mean, it's got some of the best seafood in the world. And there's all these lovely little cafes that, like some of them are owned by fishermen. You know, you've got some great name chefs. And so the book was really put together so that people could pick it up on the train and, and work out how to go and eat some of the best seafood on the planet. Good old Southwest. Yeah. Um, we are here today. I think now, you know, people go to the seaside, especially the Southwest, um, to go to a restaurant. People are quite, quite willing to jump on the train now and, and head to Marks at Lyme Regis because they absolutely know that the fish there is going to be the best and this is kind of full of all the, all the other great places that, that we found. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I think, you know, the, the thing with seafood is, is that, you know, it doesn't need to be messed with too much. Uh, that's why I think a lot of the great places, you know, a lot of them are very, very simple places by the seaside because you know, it's all about, you know, the fish. And I think, you know, when you're, when you're down on the coast and you've got a sea view, you want, you know, you've got to be eating fish and drinking local cider or white wine. <laughs> so presumably your little black book was helpful with all the chefs that you know. You know, and you look at all the chefs that have kind of gravitated the southwest, and uh, Nathan Outlaw, Rick Stein, Mark, uh, Michael Keynes is down there. I mean, you know, the, it's kind of some really great names and they're there because of seafood. You know, that's what they all specialise in. The seafood is the best in the world. Find out the best places to eat in the southwest We've got the kind of fisherman's mission involved, so all the proceeds for selling the book go to the fisherman's mission. You know, for me, the fisherman's mission, which is in the centre of Brixton, which has a great cafe, we take fish up there and cook, we sadly closed down. And, uh, but they perform a really good um, function of supporting fishing families, people that have been bereaved, people that have fallen on hard times, and I guess we rely on fish and seafood for what we do for a living, and it's kind of, you need to kind of work together and respect everything that goes on, I think. Great wine, you know, if you want this experience, pick up the book. Go to some of the places and uh, jump on the train. I mean, first Great Western, you know, great champions in the southwest. Obviously, it's the, it's, it's the main transport on the, on the train outside of London, and uh, they were just very, very keen to, to show travellers that you know train journeys are not about boring old commuter runs. This is actually about leisure time. It's about fun. It's about enjoyment. And you know, you get on the train, you're stress free, you have a gin and tonic, and look at what's at the end of it. You know, this amazing kind of countryside, beautiful coastline, and you know, some of the best seafood on the planet. What a kind of great thing to share with all the people that are travelling on the train. So they've just been, you know, right behind it all the way and uh, been brilliant to work with.